Tomorrow, I'm going to go fishing in Lake Pontchartrain, so keep watching and we'll cover all those details. All right, first and foremost, I'm doing the beginning part of the video here because tomorrow is probably going to be a friggin' madhouse. See, here's the thing. Lake Pontchartrain, good for speckled trout. Typically during the spring and fall months, especially the bridges of Lake Pontchartrain. But what makes it so important to me is not so much that I'll get to catch a whole bunch of speckled trout, because I can do that all over the coast of Louisiana. It's that in Lake Pontchartrain, I get to fish for speckled trout in a very particular way. And one of my favorite ways to catch them, and that's throwing a jig. So if I want to enjoy a good spring speckled trout bite, uh, honestly, tomorrow's the day to go. And that is because the wind is going to be laying down first thing in the morning. I mean, Windfinder here is telling me 4 a.m. to 7 a.m. is going to be like two to three miles an hour. And we also have a really good tide range with a high tide being tonight at 9.19 at 0 0.8 feet and then falling all the way down to negative 0 0.2 feet at 9 a.m. So we'll have that tide change at uh, not first thing in the morning, but pretty much. And then it'll be coming in all day. And that's a uh, tide range will go back up to 0 0.8 feet at 10 p.m. tomorrow night. So we're going to have good moving water. The wind is going to lay down first thing in the morning, but it is going to pick up out of the northeast later in the day to something uh, like it says here, 13 to 16 miles per hour. That's at 4 p.m. So I ought to be off the water by then. That's all easy enough. What's really going to make this a pain in the neck is that everyone and their mom knows about the fishing in Lake Pontchartrain. There's been plenty of fishing reports that you can read on Facebook and elsewhere to tune you into that information. There's going to be boating pressure. There's going to be a lot of boats already parked where it is I want to fish. Fortunately, however, I'm fishing in a bass boat. A bass boat that can go underneath the bridge. Foot pedal trolling motor. And I'll tell you that when I bought this boat, it was fishing the bridges in Lake Pontchartrain, catching speckled trout is what I had in mind. Because this boat is awesome for it. Alright, so let's go ahead and cover rods and reels, lures, stuff like that that I'm going to use tomorrow. First and foremost, the thing that I'm most likely going to throw all day tomorrow is going to be a 3 8 ounce jig head. If it's not already obvious, this is a matrix shad, and this color is called ultraviolet, and is tied to 14 pounds monofilament. Now the reel I'm using is a Daiwa Tatula 100, and the rod, hold on to your seat for this, is not a Daiwa Tatula. It is a St. Croix Avid X, 6 foot 4 inches in length, medium power, extra fast action. And uh, this is coming off one of my old combos. Uh, basically, to make a long story short, I slammed the door shut on a bunch of my Daiwa rods to smash the tip. Don't be dumb. I was dumb. So I'm using what it is that I've got right now. St. Croix is an awesome choice, and it's what I used for years before I got on board with Daiwa. Another rod that I will have with me is this jerkbait rod. That is a Daiwa Zillion SV. And if you'd like to learn more about that reel, you can check out this video and you'll find a link in the video description below. But if you'd like to learn more about the overall rod, reel, and line combo that I use for throwing twitch baits for speckled trout, then just watch this video right here, for which you will also find a link in the video description below. And not because I catch so many speckled trout on jerk baits uh, at the Lake Ponce Train bridges, but uh, is something that I keep trying and it's just worth having in a boat and I might fish some other spots besides the bridges I mean ultimately we won't know what happens until we get out on the water I'll have a pop and cork rod in here and, and honestly it's probably just gonna sit there all day and won't get used and another rod that I'd still need a rig up before I roll out tomorrow in the morning is my drop shot rod that way I can fish the bottom in the same way that I do with the jig but it's just a slightly different presentation using a smaller bait and sometimes speckled trout just find that irresistible when, especially whenever it is that they have like lock jaw and they just don't want to bite a jig. Ultimately though it'll be the jig that does the majority of the work tomorrow. Okay so we have conditions you have an idea as to what it is that I'm going to use. I'm going to make sure that I have a bunch of different colored soft plastics in my pocket ready to rock and roll so I can do good color experimentation while I'm out there and I'll make sure that I have good scent spray on hand as well. If you have any questions, you got any comments, post them up below. And if so far you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Now hold on to your lug nuts because we're going to that first fishing spot right now. Bam, and we're here. All right, so like there goes a boat. Guys, I've already counted, I don't know, like 10 boats or something and the time now, the time now is uh, 547. Water temperature, 75 degrees. 
So I got in the water with the quickness. What I'm gonna do right now is finish setting up cameras. Then I'm gonna get a line in the water. We're gonna get this party started. So the tide's falling and I'm still on what would technically be like the wrong side of the bridge. But I'm not rocking a, uh, a tea top or anything that's obnoxiously large. I, if I need to get, if I need to, and if I want to, I can easily slip to the other side. So I'm fishing the jig into the pilings. I'm kind of letting it go between the pilings. Dude, there's bait flipping everywhere. I haven't looked at sonar yet, but I'm sure it just shows a whole bunch of bait down there. Gosh, there's so many boats. It's all right. I enjoy the challenge of fishing around a bunch of people. Good Lord, there's so many boats out here already. All right, look, this current's dropping so friggin' hard. I'm just gonna go to the other side. I'm just gonna do that right now. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna give this like 50 yards and then nothing happens i'm just gonna get on the big motor and just head further down the further down the trestles Dude, how have i not been bit yet this is so irritating to me i don't like a falling tide here i really prefer an incoming tide but i, I should have been bit by now Keep on rolling, baby. All right, there's a uh, sunk boat here. Now, I don't know if it's still here or not. I have no idea if it's still here or not, but I'll try. All right, that's my little optimism dance. I can get a bad attitude sometimes where fish ain't just, they ain't putting out, they ain't doing what it is I expect them to do when they're just sending me off and whatnot. I just, ah, makes me mad. This water, ooh, maybe this water could be better. I don't know. It looks like it's a little stained, just a little dirty. So to account for that, what I'm going to do is put on a, uh, a brighter color like this, lemon head, chartreuse, just chartreuse. boat is still there wow there it is right there well, you can see the boat itself and then in front of it you can see that tire it looks like it did move over a little bit all right this ain't panning out either we're gonna take a ride Do a, a little bit of graphing and what I'm looking for in our graphing is just to see like some semblance of life I don't need to see a lot of fish but I do need to see some semblance of life there's a lot of fish like all those little dots right there those are fish there's little dots there's little dots right there those are fish Oh, there's fish around these freaking, oh my God, yes. Look, those are fish, those are fish. Any shadows you see, that that's a fish. Fishy, fishy, fishy. Just trying to put something together, man. Just trying to do my thing, baby. All right, so hopefully I can just find some friggin', I can just find some speckled trout here and I want to deal with all the, the masses on the, on the trestle, so that would be nice. You know, just thinking outside the box and actually fishing not just trying to catch if that even makes sense i don't know we're just trying to think outside the box here trying to do what it is that, that i preach inside lfb elite all right let's do this let's do it let's do it now come on this bay boat over here looks like a charter just because uh you can tell by the way people kind of stand around that Maybe they just look like they're in someone else's house. 
They look like that. That's a weird little bitey bite. Oh, dude. I'm not going anywhere. That could have been a sheep's head, but I ain't going nowhere now. Spot lock. Oh, man. Got another bitey bite. This is what I love about fishing these bridge pilings is you can get a little, little bite and you gotta sit there and work them and then boom, you get them. Take skill. Bam, finally. The rod just kind of loaded up. It wasn't like a strong pal bite. A nice trout, boom. Uh, it was a super nice trout, but this is a keeper all day long. Oh yeah. Bam, first keeper of the day. Found by actually fishing and not just doing a fish spot. I didn't know there's fish here. I saw reports for the trestles, plenty of that. But I didn't see anything for here. I just hope it wasn't that one fish. I hope that there's more. What I saw on sonar looked like there's more fish. See if I get something like this, that's called a push bite means I probably got bit. So it's cool about having two charter captains over there is I can just kind of look over and look at the demeanor of their customers. Are they standing? Are they sitting? Do they look kind of like lost and forlorn or fish flying over the side of the boat? I don't know. But I can look over there and I can see and it gives me an idea as to what's going on. So I, I, I enjoy fishing next to them because it tells me, it kind of tells me that I'm in the right spot because they've, they've been fishing in the last 20 something days, whereas I haven't. And they're kind of like my canary in a cage. Let me know when it's time to leave the mine shaft. Oh, nice. That was a good little bite. There we go. Got you now, but. That's a better speckle trout. And look, this one came off too. All right, that's trout number two. That fish bit a little further off the pilings and the rod just kind of loaded up. It wasn't like a solid bite. Come on, man, dude, what is this? What is this? What is this? This can't be a trout. Oh, it's a trout. He's just pulling hard. It's a late pasta train fatty, man. Look, that fish choked it. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. And that makes two and three. This one feels a little bit better. Oh man, it's just cause it's foul hooked. It might not even be 12 inches. Oh man, I really wanna get, I'd love to catch more of this big trout I was on in the last few videos. That'd be amazing. I'm pretty sure he's not 12 inches, but don't know until you measure him. Mm, no. First throw back of the day. Ooh, just got thumped right there. Good, all right. Just getting more cast. Ain't going anywhere. Oh, man, just got it again. I'm getting body bites, though. That's good. There we go. Pull them right off those pilings. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Easy. Easy does it.
It's a nice trout or is it just foul hooked? It's a, it's a nice trout. It's sort of foul hooked. Hopefully foul hooked good. Oh, bam, baby. Bam, there we go. Bam, baby. He is right up on that piling. Starts getting bitey bites from. Just getting pecked at and everything else right up against the piling. Just keep casting at it. Even if your bait comes off the piling a little bit, just let it just finish out the cast anyway because he might be following that bait. Ooh. Ooh. All right, just got bit. Oh, come on. What is up with these finicky fish, man? There he is. Oh, dude, what is up with these finicky biting fish, man? It's, this is driving me crazy. This is absolutely driving me insane. I probably lost just as many fish as I've actually landed. Man, right there in front of the boat. Oh yeah, baby. Dude, maybe I need to back off the bridge a little bit. Oh, big fat Lake Ponce train speckled trout. Yes. And that is trout number five. Hey, he might have been following it from the from the bridge pilings. I mean, the, these fish are pretty finicky and sporadic. They're not really giving me anything other than just to keep pounding this round peg into the square hole, right? And he might have fought, followed it from the bridge piling. So it's just like, do I back off more? Which I am backing off more. That's all I can do, I can just give it a shot. That's it, baby. Gotta try. But see, for me to really stick with backing off the trestles or backing off the bridge pilings like that, uh, I need to catch a fish as soon as I do it. Or at least like after the third catch. Otherwise, I'm getting right back on those pilings. I think that fish followed it off the pilings. And, and the whole reason this matters to me is because that's that much more distance that I have to fish. I can get more casts in. Ooh, that felt different. Hang on. I can get more casts in if I don't have to cover as a lot. I can get more casts if I don't have to cover such a longer distance underwater, if that makes sense. And I can also not cast at the bridge pilings and just cover what's immediately in front of me. And that's what I'm trying right now. I'm just gonna cast out to either side of the boat and see what happens. Bam, again, just randomly right off the piling. It's a nice fish. Boom. Look at that big Lake Ponce train fatty right there. How long are you? Not quite 20 inches and so uh, that's all right. You're gonna go, boop, welcome to the team, baby. Speckle trout number six. All right, Let's see if homeboy here is 12 inches. I don't know, man, that's, yeah, that's a throwback. Back in the water you go. Oh, I felt like little fit down there. Oh, nice. Another bite, but no fishy fish. Bitey bite, but no fishy fish. Come on, dude, what is, is there something wrong with me? Am I just not setting the hook fast enough? Like, what's going on? He was just sitting on it. It's like a winter bite. Oh, it's just a little fish. Oh, man. That, that might be my problem is that I was dealing with a bunch of little fish, but I caught some nice ones. So then why not, I just, man, Half my brain saying leave, the other the other part saying stay. I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna keep casting. I just need to get in that mindset. Anytime I even think there's a bite, I dream that there's a bite. 
I have a hunter's about it. I'm just gonna swing that rod every time. It just might be that kind of day. Oh man, here we go. See, this is the culprit right here. This is what I'm feeling. Little itty bitty ding a -ling speckled trout like this right here. That's the problem. And look at where I came up. I came up through his chin. It's only because I swung the rod like a madman rather than kind of letting him commit to it. All right, well, I'm gonna stick with this because maybe some of those little, those little bites are big fish. All right, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go get all my absolute favorite stretch down there. There's just been boats and people sitting on it. And I'm just gonna go interject myself. And uh, put a new battery in this thing. Man, why does this have to be a grind, dude? I'm just so irritated with these fish right now. Only a tiny little fish with a brain the size of a pea can make me so upset. This one feels like it kind of keeps. Boom, all right. Maybe we can work together a pattern now. Please, just give me a pattern. Please, 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 please. That is speckle trout number seven. All right, I'm out. We are out of here. All right, so this is what's going on. It's like 9.30 something. This day is turning to be, this day has already turned into way more of a grind than, than what it should be. I'm being a little whiny right now. I really should have whacked 25 already. And we got seven. We gotta find these fish. So my next plan is to go do some drifting with suspending baits, maybe even a corky. And then from there, get back on the trestles and just fish the whole dang thing. But in the meantime, we got, uh, we got some nice speckled trout there, so. Just need to throw some ice on them. I need 18 more. Let's do this. 